this motion on behalf of the great people of Kirinyaga. Honorable Speaker, it begs the question, does it not prick our conscience as a house that barely four months after passing the grossly unpopular finance bill, which the president himself refused and declined to assent to, that we're here discussing an impeachment motion of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Honorable Speaker, the young people of this nation unequivocally told us to fix high unemployment levels among the young people, gross corruption at all levels of government, accountability issues in regard to leadership, our ailing healthcare sector, among other things. Honorable Speaker, many young people died on that day, Honorable Speaker. Several others to date are still missing, Honorable Speaker. It begs the question, the priorities we have as a 13th Parliament. Honorable Speaker, the motion before us is frivolous, it is baseless, it is lacking in substance. It is nothing but a shambolic political scheme to hang the truthful man for merely being truthful. Honorable Speaker, we must yes, redeem yes. the 13th Parliament, Honorable Speaker. Oh. We must yes. ensure All that we give... Kajeri, take your seat. Yes, Donya. Give Donya the mic. Hold, Jerry, you have about... Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is on a Rebogasheri in order to bring things which have passed, like the finance bill, when we are discussing about the impeachment motion. Those... And, and Gasheri is my friend, but this one you are wrong, my dear. We are discussing about the impeachment of Gashagwa, not finance bill. Let the forgone be the forgone. Honorable Speaker, I would want the Honorable Member, who is my very good friend, to point what standing order she rose on and what standing order can this ensure that I do not speak on matters that have been controverted and that are public information, Honorable Speaker. We passed the finance bill, Honorable Speaker. It oh, is a no. matter of fact. Even if you boom here, we will speak. The young people of this nation deserve more. They want jobs. Oh, they no. want health care sorted. The impeachment of the oh, deputy no. president is a sham political process. Kasheri, order. Jerry shall be had in silence and dignity. But Jerry, your time is up. Women Rep of Migori. Yeah. Yes, Wanjala. What is uh, out of order? Give Wanjala. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the person who is accused whom we are debating was supposed to be here by five. It is seven minutes past five. He actually is. Mr. Speaker, can we bar him from coming because oh, he's no, late? Angela, he's already here. Yes. Megori Women Rep. Give to Fatuma. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, kindly protect me, Mr. Speaker. I can't be heard, Mr. Speaker. Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order. Kind, Order. Excuse me. Excuse me, Honorable Member. Please give me time to speak. Order. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity you have given me. And as I stand here as a Muslim, I don't know when I'll die. In case I die before the impeachment time, I vote yes, the Shagwa must go. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I will take you to the Bible, Proverbs 23, 10, verse 11. And it says, please keep quiet. And it says, don't move an old stone that marks a border. And don't take fields that belong to the orphans. God, their defender, is strong. He will take their side against you. I want Gashagwa to know, the former deputy president of Kenya should know, that when you touch anything of the orphans, it is not Kenya Kwanza, it is not Azimio, but it is God all the mighty that will pull the fire on you. I will return to the Quran. The Holy Quran in Surah An-Nisa said, Surely, those who eat up property of the orphans unjustly, they only eat fire into 
into their bellies and soon they will enter a blazing fire. I am telling the former deputy president of Kenya that you have eaten fire into your belly and the fire will surely burn you. Mr. Speaker, as I finish, Mr. Speaker, I have heard that the deputy president